Hello and welcome back to Pacific War. Uh, after we sunk Gaga, we are back to Milne Bay or neighborhood, uh, where we uh, once again have this Japanese task force with two battleships and three heavy cruisers. I've got, as per usual, my Beaufort up in the air, which you probably won't be able to see because they are way too far away, and we are going to attack one of the heavy cruisers. And here we come. And bombs are away. And we shall be hopefully away. Well, we lost one ball forward. But we've got three excellent hits on this uh, heavy cruiser. I will try one ball forward, although we cannot really afford to lose too many of them because uh, uh, we um, yeah it's hard to resupply uh, Milne Bay it was a bit silly because Milne Bay wasn't that hard to resupply once you had the supplies in Australia which you could have got um, but yeah I have uh, skitty hopes uh, uh, in the area as well with 500 pounder semi-armor piercing which are not that great but you know any little damage helps, so let's see. Bombs away, and we will try to get away as well as fast as possible. I don't expect much to be honest. Oh, we've got two hits. That's way more than I expected. Way, way, way more. And we will also get a hook, which is uh, unfortunate, very. Well, I lost two planes for a uh, nice few hits. I'm pretty sure we should be able to sink her with the uh, torpedoes. Well, and we've got the force again. Um, obviously, we are going to try and attack the place a uh, heavy cruiser again. I got my both ports here and be able to really start my attack run. Um, I also got some bow fighters, as you can see they are here, and uh, we will use them if, okay, if the bow forts will slow down this, uh, this heavy cruiser. And uh, we'll be getting now bombs are away and we are away as well we will see how it goes we got a hit unfortunately and speed up and we got an excellent excellent hit and as a matter of fact we do not have to do anything else she is going down it was so excellent a hit. <laughs> uh, um, let me see whether there isn't anyone that we could potentially attack. I don't think so. We could in theory drop on this but I want to... I would say it's too risky. Um, so let's just leave. We sunk another heavy cruiser. Yay! After we uh, conquer Tarawa, uh, I would like to go for Solomon Islands uh, purely to get a line of uh, supply uh, to New Guinea. Uh, because as you can see, the rest of it is. yeah. We just need to start supply Port Moresby and Mill Bay. And uh, within the like, we should be able to get more um, naval engagements there as well. And as you can see, we have found another task force with a nice carrier. Mm. So, this is Rujo. Uh, she has sent our, her uh, cap to attack us, as you would expect, but oh, that's fine. Um, 
we that's why we've got our captain protecting us as long as none of the downed zeros crashes into one of our ships we should be fine and Atlanta I actually want you to start targeting something else than Buki as I have know Vegeta has been hit by a dun, which is perfectly fine we don't care Atlanta was hit by a bomb, um, Atlanta is a light cruiser, so that wasn't too bad by the looks of it. And you can see with our binoculars the enemy task force. That was a nice close one. I lost by two wildcats. My worry with Fubuki's is of course that they will shoot torpedoes. Um, but at the moment it doesn't look like this was very nice. Well, I would say she's doomed. And we have a nice burning carrier, a sight that we like to see. Might just drop. Yeah. Uh, Fergot, you will. Planta. Form up, Fergot. You get behind. And you might as well start laying smoke. I think they put down our uh, scout plane, but uh, that's not going to make a huge amount of difference anymore. Oh, there was an explosion on Fubuki here. Yes, they put down our scout plane, unfortunately. Oh, oh that was nasty. Oops. Shall we risk it? Shall we risk it? Yeah. And slow down. Okay, they look fairly bad, but let's face it. I think I will leave Atlanta to sort of go and after, and you know, go and um, attack whatever they wish. Uh, Rijo is, uh, yeah, she's doomed, but she was doomed basically the moment that we spotted her. And you can see how close we are. Which is the reason why I'm worried about torpedoes. And Rijo had a magazine explosion, which we haven't seen unfortunately. But that's uh, basically put her down, yeah, as we expected. And here Fubuki is going to be the next one down. You can see it's, uh, yeah. Doesn't look healthy, does it? Atlanta, no target. What do you mean no target? Do you know? Atsuharu, Wichita, Atsuharu. Yeah, wow. Well, you could see. And I ordered everyone to start turning because I'm not comfortable enough with the fire and Atsuharu's done for. Not comfortable enough with this many destroyers. Well, 
Fire destroyers are taking basting, but they destroyers are not getting basting, they're getting destroyed. Our poor destroyer here is not doing that well. Let's cover it with Juno. Um yeah. Dewey will have to head home, assuming that she survives. She should, but Bennett will probably withdraw everyone. Uh, because uh, they will need to replenish ammunition if nothing else. Well, this is what I call uh, the Light Cruiser Brigade. It's basically taking this uh, destroyer apart. It's a pity that there is no better uh, model for uh, uh, for damage. And this Fubuki is also sinking. This Fubuki is not going to last much longer. And she is sinking as well. So everyone has been sunk. We can leave. Critical heavy, not surprised really, unfortunately, but we have sunk a CV and uh, four destroyers. So lost four. Yeah, let's let's go and replenish everyone. Uh, we've got this task force 3 here which is going to make it safer for our uh, task forces here but uh, let's go and replenish everyone well i suspect there is yet another carrier ai seems to like to send carriers into this area so uh that's good to know uh we are going to destroy it but first of all our camp is going to deal with these uh, uh Annoying zeros, you can see our cap here. It's already coming in. Let's speed up a bit. And just a wee bit. As you can see, it's uh, we've lost two wild kids though, so it's not entirely going our way. But this is the last of zeros, and we can leave. This, I believe, it's the last one. But no, it wasn't. There was one. More. There is one more, and by the looks of it, there is yet one more. But we've got two more zeros. Well, one more zero. I don't don't think the other one zero will last for too long. Why are you shooting? And all zeros are down for a loss of two wildcats. We will have to go and replenish our wildcats. And we've got some land based planes coming in, but uh, our cap should make a short work of them, so we will see. Um, it's a smaller cap than it was, of course. But uh, still, more should be more than enough to uh, put pay to these guys. But I will.
Okay, all of them are down now. I don't need to do anything. All of them, you can see the dead spirals of all of them. Nice. Let's leave. Oh, there was still somewhere one more, but I... Okay, never mind. Okay, the Enterprise is under attack by first these planes here and then uh, some more planes here which I'm going to attack order to be attacked shortly because I don't think these are going to present a huge amount of... yeah, these are all done. But we've got some zeros on the other side which is rather unpleasant. Okay, we've downed these two. And there is a lot of gates as you can see here. We'll see whether we will get them. Because we have only eight uh, wildcats, which is uh, suboptimal, let's face it. We've got one. I've broken up my formation and I'm hoping uh, really to uh, send the destroyers here, destroyers can, they're quite fast, maneuverable and everything, uh, they should be able to, uh, and they have a lot of firepower as well. So they should be able to deal with these guys. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, that's a nice fireball. I oh, was heads on. Proper attack. You can see our ships down here in distance. Um, so I don't think this will survive, and we'll see whether this one does. No, it didn't. Which is good. And again. Uh, this is a proper slaughter of torpedo planes. Not sure whether we would be able to deal with uh, um, dive bombers this efficiently, but torpedo planes are slow. And she dropped the torpedo, but we will try to avoid it. Oh, I can't see if she is down. But yeah, ah, here it is. Here it comes. We've avoided. By quite a wide margin, as you can see. And they appear to be trying to get a go at uh, this guy. Which is going to be a pain. And we might get a hit. That was lucky. That was incredibly lucky. Okay. Uh, I would say that all torpedo planes are down. The only things that are left are zeros. Um, and uh, even that's not true anymore. Down everything. Okay, let's leave. Was 25 planes for none of ours. That's what I call a very good result. Uh, there is a carrier force, as we expected. So I am trying to intercept it with my um, 
with my uh, cruisers. We will see whether it works or not. And here we have it. <laughs> Yet another carrier. So this is going to be two for one episode. Uh, we will finish here. Uh, to be honest, these battles are fun when you do them once, but when you do a third one, it's not that great because it's not a huge amount of opposition. And uh, it's, yeah, it's mostly chasing, as you can see. Okay, we have uh, got in range and we should be able to attack anytime now. Um, yeah, you can see here uh, we have already attacked with New Orleans. I told them to lay smoke, which is, to be honest, I. Yeah. Not entirely sure it's not a great idea, but we will see. Heo here is laying small as well, and we are already bracketing it B way. A uh, little wonder, because the solution, as I saw, we had was 99%. You can see the enemy here through our binoculars, and uh, it looks like we are bracketing both the destroyer here and uh, the uh, and the carrier as well but I'm going to probably do something because we are being bracketed as well so turn around This Hatsuharu is, yeah, he came under attack from our light cruisers and I don't think he's gonna last long because, yeah, the light cruiser, as you can see, it's basically a constant bombardment. So this Hatsuharu is gonna go down shortly. Uh, Hio appears to be on fire as well. Um, I'm quite happy to leave New Orleans bombarding Hio. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, nice music is going Um This was not so long a hunt as we had before. Uh, this uh, was fairly... It was good visibility, so it was a fairly short one. Uh, they are shooting at our poor Kingfisher. And Hatsuhara is going down. Surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, the Kingfisher will have to climb up to get out of the... Uh, small caliber weapons range uh, if they are shooting at it with artillery that's fine that's a relatively small target and that means they are not shooting at us in meanwhile I have no idea what these guys here have been doing but uh, they seem to have turned in some weird way so we have to turn them back uh, they are shooting at the other destroyer which is fine uh, Hio, in meanwhile, is burning, being killed by uh, New Orleans, which is fine by me. Uh, the, to an extent, that's what the light cruisers are for, to destroy the destroyers, uh, while the heavy cruisers deal with the bigger ships. That was a very nice hit. Yeah, you can see how the light cruisers are pummeling this destroyer. They're taking the bait of the uh, aerial scout. Well, too bad. Heo is flame. Uh, yeah, not a long fight, I would say. Question is whether I will. Uh, I was slightly premature exploding uh, a triple A ammunition. Uh, wouldn't have been fun for anyone on the uh, deck. 
You can see it here. The question is whether I should leave all the heavy cruiser in these happy hunting grounds and continue to whittle down a Japanese carrier force, or what should I do really? I guess I will leave it there because uh, it's just uh, making things unpleasant for our invasion of uh, Tarawa, uh, where we are trying to get uh, another uh, bunch of uh, uh, another uh, load of marines and supplies and everything on to take it so that we can concentrate on Solomon Island. I think now the light cruisers will probably uh, attack Ahio as well, which is a bit of a sore sight, but uh, hopefully it means that she will go down faster and uh, then we will finish off the destroyers. No, we got some light cruisers concentrating on this destroyer, which is good which is good, um, yeah, you can see that she is in a bad shape, and I can't honestly tell whether it's a destroyer or, uh, no, I can't tell, it is the uh, hue going down, settling down, and you can tell that there is less smoke all of a sudden, yeah, so that's a third carrier, in um, yeah, a very short time, and uh, this would be together 12 destroyers sunk as well because each of them had four destroyers as an escort. That's going to uh, put a dent into destroyer. Let's have a look whether we had any damage. No, nothing. Uh, how is here? Which is perfectly fine. And the SI show is uh, uh, passing through mercilessly any survivors of the uh, sunk heel. And uh, lucky SI show uh, has turned because otherwise it would have been on the receiving end of this use light from our light cruiser. Uh, which is why it pays for one ride cruiser to the other way, but so you know, you never know which way it's going to turn, so having some spread is always good. Uh, but it looks like she got hit by an 8 in shell from heavy cruiser to her stern, so and again, uh, meaning that she will not be turning for much longer. So, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, uh, it was a bit more extra packed, although still uh, not uh, not too much of a danger to our ships. Uh, if you did, uh, please uh, consider subscribing, liking and commenting, also help the channel. And uh, uh, yeah, I'll see you with the next video, which will be after this. Sashnal has been sung. That was a particularly nice goodbye to the episode.